So we are here for the Fire on the Hole Media Day, the grand opening ceremony. Uh, it's been running for a couple weeks now where people have been getting previews, but today is the day. Today is the actual official opening and uh, excited to be able to share it with you. Uh, we're going to get uh, rides, of course. We're gonna be able to get background footage, uh, possibly some interviews. I'll show you a little bit about what it's like to attend one of these uh, and just give you an idea of what a neat experience a media day is. I've actually held off on writing it. Uh, been very tempted, but wanted to save it for today because uh, we even get a chance to possibly get some on-ride footage. Something I don't usually do, but hey, media days are a little different. So, uh, plus I got along a couple troublemakers here. Yeah, this is my media crew, uh, cameraman, and uh, we're joking. We're calling Amber our pack mule, but uh, it's going to be fun. So join us as we get ready for the opening ceremony here in a little bit. So media day always starts off with the check-in table and we've got the brand new guy with PR here Coulter who used to rob trains with me we'll be able to head on in this way so one of the first things uh, is you check in on the other side of the big axe they've got a check-in table there we're standing over here because it's chilly today and there's sun here and that's in the middle of the shade uh, but excited about that so yeah you check in and then you come out over here and right now we are just waiting for them to begin taking groups down um, so you, there's two groups of people here you've got some that are wearing vip badges uh, they're special guests people who get early access to the ride uh, and then you have others like us who um, are whacking people with their badges <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> Uh, but we've got working media badges, which if Amber would turn hers around when she's not whacking her brother, uh, that's what we get. So we have a little bit different access. It means we get to do some things that others don't, like whack people. You're not nervous. <laughs> Company photographers. <laughs> this is interesting. Park's closed, but here is our Smith working away. You gotta be aware of that Branson fam. <laughs> so as we come down, uh, this is the new dry goods store. You can see uh, Mrs. Flanders is there. And so we will poke at that later. And then a nice big long line. I'm guessing to Welcome guys, thanks for being here. I think we're all waiting to grab something at the pretzel stand, but I'm not sure. We shall see. Uh, so, yep, we're coming around with drinks. Oh, give her time. Well, Saloon Girl, they have to serve beer. With beer. With that? So that used to be the water boggin. I desperately want them to do something with it because I just want to go up. See yeah, I don't know that they ever will. They use a, a security observation hmm. now. But it wouldn't be hard to repurpose it, but whether they ever do or not. As they have the saloon girls down here, uh, we are serving root beer and then something else. I can't see it. I do see Heather down there and Megan, it looks like. Megan being the new purple. Anyone like root beer? Root yes, please. Don't like it's a baby bottle. It and, and then we have pretzel dogs. Oh. Yum, yum, yum. And we've got one of our new saloon girls. <laughs> Would you like a root beer? Hi, how are you? Pretzel dogs. Pretzel Check dogs. those Yay. out. Yum, yum. Thank you. Yes, Thank you. You're so welcome. You see, they're all set up. Good morning. Good morning. How is the pretzel dog? Really good. Dom, I'm going to try mine here in a second. <laughs> they're having a dance party. All right, let's give you a look around up here. 
We've got 504 parked here. And then they've got all sorts of fun little things set up just for the media today. So instead of having fire coming out of the building, they've got it coming out of the sign. And we're gonna have lunch there. And do you wanna try the custom ice cream? This is your chance. A little chilly. Yep. So what is our uh, flavor here? And Amber's gonna brave it. It's a little chilly still for me. But as you can see we've got all sorts of things set up here. We've got radio stations. There's gonna be TV here. Some of them have already been filming, but they've got a whole string of different tables for everybody here. So, Big Science 65, Alice, Wolf, and a lot of your local radio is here. So this is gonna be exciting. And then, eventually, we will get to head up inside, but we've got the opening ceremony coming up first. And then after that, you can see they're already working on getting set up for lunch. Our fire chief is on his way down. Okay. So, so how is the ice cream, Amber? It's good. Firefighters. So, a little look at the merch. You see, we've got a couple shirts left over from last year. But then, several. <laughs> This is my trouble. Pins, badges, and magnets. Yeah. I could spend money here if I had it. And if you look at my 25 year sign that was placed a few years ago up on Town Square, you'll notice that I'm running for re election for mayor of Silver Dollar City, and I'd appreciate your vote. But we are gathered here today. Y'all have been invited here because you're very special to the past of Silver Dollar City, to the present of Silver Dollar City, and to the future of Silver Dollar City. And so we wanted to share these moments with you, and we invited you. Um, each one of you have a unique story of why that you're here. Um, you have different roles, you have different backgrounds, but you help support us and you help us tell the story of this place. Please know that as we build Silver Dollar Cities, we build attractions like Fire in the Hole, we do so with two things in mind. We want to make sure that we're taking care of our guests, that we're giving them incredible experiences, and that we're also taking care of our employees. We know that we know that as we build things, that they have to be big enough, bold enough, fun enough, that folks that visit us from Houston, Texas, to Chicago, Illinois, from Denver, Colorado, to Memphis, Tennessee, have reasons to drive past other theme parks, other resort towns, other resort communities, to come to no other place than Branson, Missouri, to the Ozark Mountains, to Silver Dollar City, because what we offer as a community is bigger and bolder than what those other places that compete with us also offer. So please know that as we build, as we think, as we dream, we do that because we want to make sure that folks have a reason to visit this place. There are a lot of folks that build roller coasters. There are a lot of folks that build different things, but. Hopefully what we do is different enough and rich enough 
that folks will come here for our festivals, for our attractions, for our rides, for all of the things that we offer, along with all the things throughout Table Rock Lake, throughout Branson, throughout Kimberling City, throughout all of Stone and Taney counties, because we are America's destination for super family fun. But as we know from our marketing research, the consumer research that we do, we knew that the number one sacred cow of this park, beyond our theme, was the story of Fire in the Hole. So as we knew that we needed to replace the former ride, we had to pay tribute to that ride because of its just connection to this park, the connection to the stories. So we opened up a little Flanders Mercantile shop over here, and guess what? Top selling item for the first two weeks of the season, red Flanders pants. So you can go in there and you can look for the first time in 51 years you get to buy red Flanders pants. I also want you to know that um, Silver Dollar City has 1,200 acres to our west. Okay, now just think about this. 1,200 adjacent acres to Silver Dollar City. There is less than 200 acres that we occupy over here with the parking lots and the park itself. And it's taken us 63 years to get this much. And we got 1,200 adjacent acres to the west. So if you've got a few hours, I'm gonna walk through our plans today. <laughs> Not really, but I say all of that to say on this opening day of Fire in the Hole, it's an opening day for this new ride, for the new generations of this ride, but also for lots of announcements in the future. All right, here we go, Mayor Brad. Three, Three two, two, one, one. fire! Enjoy the ride, y'all. So we are coming over because we're at the end of the line. Because I'm so, so we're gonna get a little bit of food first and enjoy. So a nice little spread and uh, something you don't usually get in the park. We've actually got Mr. Pib. Yay! Let's see what we can do here. Yeah. We've got all sorts of little sampler deals. And then Silver Dollar City, you gotta have the skillet. Yum yum. yum. And then of course they got more of it down here. Yeah. Oh, these are different sandwiches. Lemon chipotle chicken salad. You go, listen. And insert and Amber is just going crazy now. So there is all the different sampler things. Yummy yummy. Sample just about everything there. This stuff is amazing. It's really good. Favorite? Uh, the root beer barbecue sandwich. I almost have to go to the skillet. Um, they're all really good. Uh, you know, usually you get these sample things, and there's one that you're like, eh, uh, not these. They're all really, really good. Yeah. So uh, now it's getting ready to try to get on the ride. So after eating, yum yum. All right. So look at all the media groups out here. And we are going to head this way. Let me see if we got a little bit of a line, but that's okay. Which, yes, we gotta wait. That's okay. Now look at all the media groups. Okay, this is pretty funny. If you read that, Wiley, wanting for theft of gunpowder and explosives. Um, hmm. Wouldn't have, last name wouldn't be Coyote. Then we got Bugs. I don't know about Patches. <laughs> But yeah, Bugs Bunny, Wiley Coyote. <laughs> yeah, we missed the top. Gives you an idea. What's like with actual things? They like the family. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
they do have a camera rig, but you gotta be special for that one. I don't know if I'll be able to get in that later or not. We will try. But that's how they're setting up the camera. from the original ride, right there. So this is fun, they've got everybody waiting outside the exit, cheering you on as you come out. Which is a nice little touch. And then, just for media day, we actually get three pictures. Woohoo! Very nice. Okay, so what did you think, first ride? I think it was pretty good. Uh, the new visuals and vocals and mannequins were all good. I think some of the lines could have been said like, with a little more enthusiasm. But I, I missed the old fire in the hole. Yeah, it, that came across a little flat, but that's... I, I'm still processing because it felt like it's much more in the in the 21st century now, you know, and it's much more more visually interesting. Mm -hmm. It also felt a little tamer, a little slower. Yeah, smoother. So, oh, okay. And then, um, so those two, the one in the black is Maddie. Used to be Saloon. Okay, you better look happy while you're riding. <laughs> yeah! Fire the hole! All 
All right, so we just finished our backseat ride and uh, got the on-ride photo, and we've actually got the sound techs who are doing the tech in it. And I was like, they don't have a picture of them riding. So we're going to go in and take them a picture so they can have it. All right, made their day. That was cool. Yeah, they didn't have one and had had a chance to get one, so we got them covered. So I'm actually going to go down and do a quick interview with another producer here, and then grab a drink, and then we're going to hit the road. But awesome ride. Awesome day. So Red Flanders here has a whole shop, and we'll try and give you a quick preview of it as well. So here is Red Flanders Dry Goods. You can see they've got a number of things in here. And of course, the pajamas. Did you show the journal awesome. in the video? Oh, fun day. We're actually one of the last ones to leave here. Uh, got a couple rides in, got our on-ride footage, uh, great food, uh, got our pictures. Uh, it's a great ride. It, if you love the old, you're going to love the new. Uh, if for some weird reason you didn't like the old, you'll still like the new. Smooth, very friendly, kid-friendly, uh, and just a wonderful ride. I love, love the addition. And they did hint at some bigger things to come too, so uh, looking forward to further announcements later on. Hope you enjoyed this look at Media Day and at Fire in the Hole. Thank you so much for joining me. God bless. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know your thoughts, your comments, your suggestions, your ideas. Be sure to share them in the comments below, or you can contact me. There's information in the description that has my email address, fan pages, information about merchandise, and so much more. So be sure to check that out. Don't forget to hit that like button, share the video, and if you haven't already, hit the button right up there to subscribe. And in fact, if you did enjoy this, I've even got another video for you right here. And also about these wonderful people here, those are my YouTube members and my patrons, the ones whose financial support makes this possible. I couldn't do it without them. If you want to know more about that and the perks that come with it, well, be sure to check the description. There's a link right down there. Thank you so incredibly much. God bless.